Hey, boys and girls, welcome back from spring break. It's me, Mrs. Eby. Today is Tuesday, April the 14th, 2020. Now, yesterday I sent you a video talking about my spring break, and I wanted to hear back from you guys about what you did over your spring break. So if you've not sent that to me, please send that to me. Um, moms and dads, if you're watching this with your children, I will no longer be sending packets home with them. I'm just going to do these videos, and um, that's kind of wanting to be what's expected is just them to respond to my videos. That way you don't have to worry about another packet to keep up with. So this is kind of what they will be accountable for from me. Um, it's just watching the videos and responding to them. Um, so if you have any questions, please just email me about that and we can work something out or um, send me a remind or a message through their Google Hangouts if they've joined that with me. Um, but that's kind of how things are going to roll until either we get back into school or the end of the school year. So if you have any questions, please just let me know about that. All right, boys and girls, we are going to practice our letters and sounds. So when you see this letter, please say the sound with me. Ready? Z. Uh. Shh, that was a diagram. Shh. Mmm. Another diagram. Ch, like Chester Chicken. Yeah. Drum, then stick. D, d. Red, brr. Ah. T. P, p. Another. J, j, jelly. Ah. Q, you. Qu, qu, queen. boys and girls okay so now I'm going to put our letters over here on our chart and we are going to make some words together so let me get that ready for you that was Mr. Brett he's also working from home so we kind of have to share our space around this hallway you guys probably know. Do you have some parents working from home, too? Yeah. We all have to share, don't we? So let me get this ready. And you might even hear my kids in the background, too, because they have to share the house with me, too. And that's okay, right? Okay. So we are ready to roll here. Put this up. Let me make sure you can see my board, if you can't, so we'll move it down here. All right, do not go past my finger. Here we go, let's do our sounds. Remember, thumbs up if it's a real word, thumbs down if it's a nonsense word. Here we go. Ch, as, chaz. What do you think? I actually taught a boy and his name was Chaz. So it could be a name, right? So if you said yes, Okay, if you said no, I could see both ways, right? Let's try this one. Oh, ch, a, sh, 
Chash. Let's try this. Yeah. Ash. Yash. Some real words here, don't we? Oh, don't let this trick you. R -e -b. With a bat and a ball. R -e -b. Reb. No. Let's try this one. R -a -b. Rub. Yes, finally, yes, I rub your feet. Hug. Uh, hug. Yes, give yourself a hug, yes. Lug. Uh, lug. Yeah, sometimes when people lay around on the couch, they might be called an old lug. Or on your tire on your car, you have some nuts and screws that keep your tire onto your car. Those are called lug nuts. Lug. S-u-d. Sud. Yeah, when you're making like a bubble bath, you make suds with the soap. S-u-d. Sod. What do you think? Yeah. When it rains and you get like a mixture of like dirt and grass, that's like sods. People used to make houses out of that dirt and grass mixture called sod houses. Whoop. Oh. Wop. No. Kip. Kip. That could maybe be a man's name, Kip. Kit. Kit. You like a first aid kit. Yeah. T. In. Tin. Not tin, tin. Yeah, like a type of metal, like a soup can is made out of tin. Or like if you've seen The Wizard of Oz, the tin man, he was made out of tin. P in tin. Yeah, I wear a pin on my shirt. J X. Jicks. No. F I F. Fifth. Okay. What about this one? Qua I F. Quiff. All right, how'd you do? Did you do pretty good remembering your sounds? Good. Now I'm going to bring you back up here so you can see my board and our target for today. And it says, I can identify the FF, LL, ZZ, and SS sounds, right? At the end of words so that I can read and write new words. Now, at the end of words, when we hear that F sound or the L, or the z, or the s. It's usually going to be a double letter, okay? So F, F, L, L, Z, Z, or s, 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 okay? And that's just how it works with these four ending letters. When it's at the end of a word, it's usually going to be doubled, okay? And the way I remember this is this little phrase. 
Jeff will pass Buzz. Jeff will pass Buzz. Okay? So F F L L Z Z S S. Now I want you to pause it right here. If you have sand that we've been making our letters in, please go get that. If you are just writing with pencil and paper, that is fine. Or dry erase board and marker, that is fine. Okay, so pause me, go get what you need, and then unpause me. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to write the FF sound. So I want everybody to take their sand or their marker and crayon, and I want you to write F, F, says f. Did I write that? Okay, now trace it again, either in the sand or with your pencil, just trace the same thing. Say it with me. F, F, says f. Do it one more time. F, F, says f. Okay. Now we're going to do L. Ready? L, L, says L. Okay, do it again. L, L, says L. One more time. L, L, says L. Okay. The next one, Z, Z, says Z. Z, Z, says Z. Z, Z, says Z. Okay, you guys got that? All right, one more I'm going to put over here. S, S, says S, S, says S, 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 says S. Okay, so they say their name. So now we know two ways that say F, the F, F, or just the F sound. We know two ways that say L, LL, or just the O sound. Two ways that say Z, ZZ, or just the Z sound. And two ways that say S, SS, or just the S. And we'll talk more about this tomorrow, how we're going to write this. But there's two different ways to make these sounds, okay? My husband over here drew my famous B, right? And the B says Buzz. So this is Buzz the B, and he'll be joining us this week. Okay? Your work today is to think of some words that end with either FF, LL, ZZ, or SS. I want you to send me at least one word that ends with each of these letters. Okay? So let's think of some words that end with these letters, and we can make a little list over here, okay? So we have buzz, or fuzz, right? Those end with ZZ. Or we could have yell, or spell, those end with LL, right? We could have kiss, Mess. Those end with SS, right? We could have cuff, like a handcuff or cuff on your sleeve. Or we could have whiff, like I take a whiff of something, right? Those end with Okay. So right now I have buzz, fuzz, kiss, mess. Yell, spell, cuff, and whiff. I want you to send me at least one word that ends with FF, 
LL, ZZ, and SS. That's your assignment, okay? So we can add to my list. Make sense? Okay, before I leave today, I am going to read you this story about our character Buzz here, right? And I want to say thank you to Scholastic for letting me read this to you online. So do you know the Fly Guy? This is Hooray for Fly Guy by Ted Arnold, right? So there was a little boy in here and he's got a pet name <clears throat> and the boy calls him a Buzz. His pet is a bee and the boy calls him Buzz. So hooray for Fly Guy. For my alma mater, the University of Florida and our great sports teams, go Gators. And this was written by Ted Arnold. A boy had a pet fly. He named him Fly Guy. Fly Guy could say the boy's name, Buzz, right? So Buzz is the boy, Fly Guy is the uh, fly. Chapter one, Fly Guy went with Buzz to play football. Coach, Coach said we need one more player for the big game. Buzz said, Fly Guy can play. Do you think Fly Guy is going to be able to fly? Play the game? I don't know. Coach laughed, Flies can't play football. Buzz said, Fly Guy, show him what you can do. Fly Guy kicked the ball. Fly Guy went out for a pass. Fly Guy tried to tackle Buzz. Is it working? I was right, said Coach. Flies can't play football, but he can come to the game. Chapter two. It was the day before the big game. Buzz made a helmet for Fly Guy. They played football. They did jumping jacks. They planned a secret play. They made a touchdown dance. They went to the big game. Coach said, a new player joined our team. Fly Guy sat on the bench. Aww. The game started. His team scored. Fly Guy cheered. The other team scored. Fly Guy worried. The other team scored a lot. Chapter 3. Finally, there was one second left in the game. The big game. The Go-Getters 14. The other team 17. The other team was ahead. They were about to score again. And the new player was hurt. Uh-oh. Who's going to go in? Coach said, okay, Fly Guy, you can play now. The game was lost anyway. Buzz said, it's time for our secret play. Fly Guy went to the line. There he is. What are we going to do? The other team snapped the ball to their quarterback. Fly Guy flew fast and straight. There he goes. He flew right up the quarterback's nose. And the boy dropped the ball. Achoo! Buzz picked it up and ran. He scored. Fly Guy and Buzz did their touchdown dance. The team cheered. We won! Hooray for Fly Guy! 20 to 17. <laughs> so that was pretty funny. It flew up his nose. Okay, so we talked about the FF, the LL, the ZZ, and the SS sounds. Your job is to come up with at least one word that ends with all of these and send it to me. Okay, that's your job. I'll leave my list up here. All right, but see if you can come up with some different ones. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.